George R. R. Martin's house the, in the house of the worm. So, Anna, Anna, where do you find this delightful morsel? Did you find this delightful morsel? The mushroomer from fields will if you can believe it. Huh? Huh? A mushroom farmer recessive try not to be so sloppy you know how novelty shields us from and my anyway But to this girl she is not just a Drab, drab from the lower classes. She looks enough like me to be my sister. Perhaps that is why I want her so bad. Want her so. By the white worm. When do we get to see, to view this paragon of feminine beauty? At the sun masquerade, masqua, he. If uh, I'd have known that your warm mushroom fields are so quaint, I'd have uh, visited earlier. Though I admit your beauty is even more of a reason to endure the dusty pearls that have laid Lead me to you. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's beautiful. It's all look even better with you in it. Go ahead, try it on. Strange that my. Quest for novelty has led me to the fresh, the fifth field, and the daughter of a new mushroom farmer. Perhaps she'll be as sweet as the worms crawling upon her, her puff balls. Is it, it, it is a fair garment. But uh, where can I wear it in the mushroom fields? How about a two day sun mask? Sun was good, what's that? It uh, every four years the brightest and the white wittiest and best born of the height. The children of the worm 
I got her in the highest chamber in the house of the worm to view the sun and to dance and feast and make love and lead its dying race. And you'll be the fairest one of them all. Crack. Oh, oh. It's the meat bringer. The hunter. Hunter. He hunts the ground. Runs for the man, man worms, a leather, leather, and dresses in the skin and hair of those he's slain. So I've slain a grown myself. Sorry to interrupt, young lovers. Back to your games. He's a legend in the lower burrows. Hmm, could he take you to the chamber of the chamber of obsidian? Obsidian. Where's the delectable morsel you discovered in the mushroom fields? She'll be here. Will a mirror. Will a mirror. Who can resist my charms? I can't resist these spiced spiders. So praise the white worm whose name is Yagala and grieve not though our, our lights burn at them and die. So praise the white worm, white worm. Whose name is a decay, and the grief not though our energy fades and falls. So praise the white worm, worm whose name is death, and the grief not though he. That the lives circle tightens and all things perish. So praise the white worm whose name is Entropy and grieve not the though the sun goes out. And the ending comes feast. The ships are gone, drink, and time, the time of struggle is over, dance and praise, praise the, to the white worm. And here she is, right from the pluck for the plucking. Curly, my sweet morsel, let you eat or dance, dance.
You are a remarkably graceful curry for the daughter of a male and farmer. Yes, for or that daughter of a not anyone actually. Dancing is an activity not confined to the upper barrels. What about what other activities does your gracefulness extend to them as well? Yes, it does, Ellen. It is midnight. Time to unmask. What happens next? You'll find out soon, but first, the worm, the man worm, unmask the sun. The current man worm is the second of all matter. You know, my great grandfather was a man worm. Yeah. The black parts grow soon. Our curtains will not be needed to sun will mask itself. It dies. My grandfather told me that there was once a time when the black plains where seas and waves were white of fire, painful to look upon, 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 perhaps it, it were so, but not in his time, I would Wager even that of his grandfather. Don't you worry about the sun dying. The sun dying. The sun was dying long before I came into the house of the white worm. And it will continue to dying long after I have left. Yes. But to come, let us return to the feasting table and strengthen ourselves for the rest of the night's festivities. As to the cold, I don't believe that the old sun has anything to do with heat one way or the other. It does too. Did your grandfather tell you that? <laughs> no, but notice how the sun resembles a hot coal. Stolen from my fire box, perhaps. If the sun is nothing but a large coal, 
and we need not worry. We have plenty of smaller ones on hand, and the torture tenders can always fetch up more from the dark. Dark, so you admit, Alan. The sun is a coal that helps warm our burrow. Burrows. Burrows. No, I merely conjured in, in effect. I think the sun is an ornament of sorts. Set in the sky by the white worm to provide us with light and in an occasional masquerade. Why do you laugh, meat bringer? Because your friend is funny. I'm always Pleased to find someone who appreciates wit. I do not appreciate wit. I wish I could find some. This masquerade is witless. You are perhaps accustomed to delightful banter with the grunts. Haga, haga, he he. The uh, the grunts uh, have uh, have more wit uh, than you, simpering uh, friend, uh, and more knowledge uh, than you. You you know the grunt secrets. They have them, yes, and I know them, yes, and more. The grunts are animals, as are we, are you, are you, are you, I hear, hear breaks, I wear rags tonight, but only for the masquerade. My grandfather was a son of the man worm. I'm better your grandfather than you. You mock the honor, the great knowledge, the responsibilities. I have a heavier responsibilities as do the others who go down the to bring back grown meat. The man worm has only musty ritual duties that no one understands as to his great Great knowledge. I have more of that too. The children of the worm know nothing of themselves or the house of the worm except the half truth and the distorted lies. Good and honor. Yes, the honor is all a hideous pain. Under the knives again and again and again, each time making as less of a man and it ends in a deformity and a death honor. The man worm is purified. He is becoming one with the white worm. White worm. Hush. Precious. 
Perhaps the demon worm. Perhaps the man worm. Perhaps the meat bringer has a point. Three thinkers. Thinkers like myself have also questioned the custom, but free thinker, thinker, I doubt that you have ever had a free thought. You are nothing but less than the manworm. I have killed a one. I remember you, young lover, share my couch tonight. She is with me, I have given her the cup of the manworm. Yes, sir. We should re respond to him, to the man worm. He has humiliated us. No. Why not? You heard him. He called me an animal, and I am the grandson of a man worm. A man who might have been the man worm. He blasphemes against the white worm, and that should be me with a shakalari. Curly. You'll have your revenge. But my way, my way. To be continued.